Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Yes, today we're going to do another Blue Jacket beer. This is their Hobo's Lullaby. Uh, it's a double IPA coming in at uh, 8%. Uh, and they've made this beer before because Beer Advocate uh, says it's retired, no longer brewed. Uh, and they have it at a 10%. So, uh, and this can has no date on it. I mean, it, uh, Blue Jacket doesn't date their stuff, I don't think. So, uh, I've not found one with a date on it, I don't think. Uh, but, uh, yes, what it is there, guys. So, uh, if you know you're getting fresh stuff, uh, feel comfortable buying it. Uh, I don't know if I'll uh, purchase any more Blue Jacket stuff until they start dating. Uh, uh, that's just how I feel about this style of beer. So, uh, these guys are in Washington, D.C. Over to Untapped, they do have it uh, as the 2021 edition, uh, where Beer Advocate didn't have the 2021 listed. They said it was retired and a different ABV on the one they had done before. So, evidently, they, they tweaked it a little bit and dropped the ABV down on it. Uh, no IBUs are given. It says a double dry hop with citrus, Simcoe, and Amarillo hops, all tasty hops. Uh, Hobo's Lullaby shows a bold array of tangerine, grapefruit, lemon, and orange flavors throughout with a creamy, smooth mouthfeel and juicy finish. So, and I don't know what to expect here, guys, whether they're shooting for uh, a New England style or, or a West Coast style or exactly what style they're after. But uh, it does have the ABV on it. Uh, uh, I didn't see any of the hops listed on the can here. Uh, as y'all can see, they're very proud of that name because it's on the front with the picture and all the information is on the back of the can here. So, uh, and that's how they do all their stuff uh, from what I have seen so far from the... I've, uh, uh, review from them. So, anyway, uh, we've got the ABV, and that's about all we're going to get. We do know the hops here because Untap told us what they used on it. Uh, so, it's time. 16 ounce can. Stick on the label. Doesn't look very cloudy or very hazy coming out. So. Uh, Possibly a West Coast or East Coast style beer here, guys. It doesn't seem to be too carbonated, so let's kick that up a notch with the swirly swirl. Alright, I'm going to turn it around this way so you all can see the back of the camera. A little over a finger of head on that, and, and it wasn't super cloudy coming out, but it definitely has a, a nice chill haze on it. And I can see light through the thin part of the glass there, so not quite up through the New England style in appearance wise anyway so maybe the hot profile will put it over the fence there and uh, uh, give it that grading or that uh, uh, that call anyway so good looking beer though to the nose we go nice and citrusy I'm getting hints of oranges, tangerines, grapefruit Maybe just a hint of some lemon in there. Smells pretty good. Uh, but like I said, I can't see light through the thin part of the glass down here. So uh, let's find out. Cheers. Oranges, tangerines, slight hint of some grapefruit. Maybe just a little lemon peel in there. Pleasant. I think it's nice and easy drinking. It doesn't have a whole lot of 
bitterness to it to me. Very smooth. Tasty beer. I just wish they would start dating their stuff. Uh, it'd be a shame to pass up on a on an A beer, not necessarily a ten beer, but an A beer, uh, because of they're not dating their stuff. So it's what it is there on that one, guys. So let's run out of the fridge. Let me sip on it and see where we end up. All right, guys. I'm back. I'm sipping on for about an hour or so. Got the room temperature. Nice slicing this lap. To me, guys, this is a tasty beer. I mean, it's a very tasty beer. It's a very easy drinking, very smooth, uh, decent amount of hop aroma and taste. Uh, the only plus I got about it is no date. Got to have it. Uh, uh, these these boys and girls at the brewery they need to wake up. They're gonna hang around. Final choke. Very nice, guys. I mean, this is this is sad. Uh, maybe they're doing okay. I mean, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be purchasing anymore, even though they're making some tasty stuff. Uh, this is a, this is an A minus beer in a B can, as far as I'm concerned. That's where I'm gonna put it, guys. It's an 88 for me because it doesn't have a date. If it had a date on it and I knew how fresh it was or what I was buying, they would have probably got the 90. So. Uh, and I'm probably not going to buy any more uh, until I see some kind of dating on it. Yeah. And it's a shame because uh, this is a very tasty, well-made beer. So, anyway, uh, Beer Advocate doesn't have anything on it. So they, they say it's retired and they're in the closet or somewhere smoking something good, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Untapped has it and they say 3.87, which is in their B-plus range also. Uh, so maybe there are some other people. And there's only 199 people have commented on it. So I think this is a new release, but uh, we need to have something indicated on the guys. I mean, it needs to have some kind of date. They need to buy a damn dating machine, bottom line. I mean, if you're going to make IPAs and double IPAs, you need to date it. I mean, even some of the bigger ones will put a best before, uh, best buy or something like that on it and not even give us a, a canned on date. Some of them will do both. Uh, they're not doing nothing. So, Sorry about that. Uh, tasty beer, but need to date. Unless you're sure you're getting a fresh beer, that's the only way you can be safe. And the only way you can be safe is to have a damn canned or bottled date on it. So, is what it is. And but that's just my humble opinion. So if you've had Hobo's Lullaby, the 2021 edition, the eight percenter, let me know what you think. Till we meet again. Let's go see what's in the fridge.